Picture this. You're filming an interview and your audio doesn't sound like it should. It's a nightmare. And I'm pretty sure we've all been there. This is why we started using Lark Mux wireless audio system. It's always in our backpacks as we never know when we will be needing it. Today I will show you some of the features that this wireless system provides and show you if it's useful to upgrade it from the previous version, which is Lark 150. To give you a bonus, we will test it against some of the other microphones on the market. Now, let me say that this video is not sponsored and everything I'm going to talk today is my honest opinion to give you guys some knowledge and to help you make a right decision if you're looking out to buy any type of this wireless audio system. You ready? Let's go outside for this one. Kicking it off with the first feature, the kit itself. Lark Mox comes with two transmitters and one receiver, which gives you ability to record two subjects at the same time. You connect the two transmitters with the single receiver, which you then connect to your camera. That way you can record two subjects during the interview, or maybe you have one transmitter as a backup, or even charge one as the transmitter and then swap it when the battery on the first one dies. Second feature is the charging case that connects the whole kit together. It holds both transmitter and the receiver and is awesome addition to not have to worry about your battery life. Moving on, the microphones work on a 2.4 GHz frequencies, which should give you a stable connection. On paper, the distance is about 250 meters or 820 feet, but we will be the judge of that. How is this going to work? I'm going to walk across this field, which is about 150 meters. On the paper, the connection should be okay, but we are going to try that. You are going to hear in real time if the connection breaks down. So let's go. As we reviewed the footage, we realized that as soon as you're not facing the receiver, the signal breaks up. When I reached the 50 meter mark and turned around, the signal was back and it was very clear. Try to see if maybe the connection is already lacking. So we are at the 50 mark and I think that connection should still be working. So let's continue. As I was walking, I wanted to say something, but the signal was breaking up. 100 meters. When I reached the 100 meter mark, the signal was back and it was clear again. We are at the mark 100 meters and I think that connection is still working, so let's continue. At the 150 mark, the signal was there, but it was not usable for professional purposes. We are not sure what we did wrong because the signal should be working fine at this distance. We should also consider that we are in the city and some interferences could occur. Approached 150 meters from where we start. I think the signal is still here. Nevertheless, I don't see a scenario when you would need to film your subject 150 meters away from camera. So let's move on. One of the best features I like about this system is the ability of internal recording. If you are in the situation when you forget your SD card, which sometimes happens, you can simply record internal up to 8 gig of storage and up to 14 hours of recording time, which can in many situations be a life savior. A thing worth mentioning is also built-in equalizer, receiver controls, different recording options such as stereo, mono and safety track and also multiple device support options such as camera, phone, tablet or even a computer. You can use transmitters as a standalone recording option, connect it to lavalier microphone or attach it to a boom pole and use it with another external microphone. It truly depends on the situation you are in. The next feature that we are going to talk about is the NAC noise cancelling. To be honest, I'm not pretty sure how this technology works, but somehow it separates your voice from the background noise. We are currently in the small city, 
there are cars driving next on the road, people walking. We are going to turn on our noise cancelling with as simple as pressing one button. When the signal turns from the blue to the green one, then you know that the noise cancelling is turned on. And now when the car will drive by, we should have a very crisp and very fresh sound without the background noise. The system itself is very durable. The transmitter have about seven and a half hours of running time and the receiver, it works around nine hours. The charging case can charge up the whole system for additional two times. While the system needs about two hours to be fully charged itself. And what I like the most about this case is that it is magnetic. So the transmitter and the receiver clicks into the case and you don't have to worry about them falling out somewhere when you are in the hurry. In the kit, you get also a lot of extra stuff, bunch of cables for charging and different options to connect. You get a durable carry case, which can hold the charging case and all of the extras. Next, there are covers for wind. And my favorite thing is magnetic clips, which can be super useful to put under a shirt and then attach the microphone on it. It holds up pretty good. Last but not least, let's compare this Larkmax system with its predecessor, Lark 150, if you're looking for the upgrade. And then we were going to compare it with some of the less expensive wireless systems, if you are on the budget. On the screen somewhere here or here, you will see from which system the sound is coming from and their prices at the current time of recording. So, let's start. This is the sound coming from Lark Max. This is sound coming from Lark 150. This is sound coming from Lark M1. This is sound coming from Boyalink. This is sound coming from Zeal Sound. Tell us in the comments below from which of these systems you like the sound the most. If you find this video useful, click the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we can keep providing you with new videos. Thank you and see you next time.